Would you abort your child it was going to be born with severe disabilities? Why or why not? Welcome to Reddit Rundown. Today, we will share one of the top relatable posts on Reddit's Ask Reddit page. My close friend has a severely mentally and physically disabled child. It's thankless, exhausting, doesn't leave the parents any time to just be their own persons. And you don't get to experience all the joys of parenting, like watching your child grow, learn new things, build friendships and relationships, get an education and a job they enjoy. Honestly, it sucks. It sucks for her, her husband, her other kid, and most of all for the disabled kid who is in constant pain and needs 20 medications a day to just survive and will just be sitting in a care facility for the rest of her life once her parents pass. So yeah, no, nobody wins in this. It's the things most people don't think about that make parenting someone with a disability hard. Certainly the things you mentioned, but you also get a very real and large fear of death because you're scared of how your child will survive and who will help them when you're gone. It causes a lot of sleepless nights. This is why I would abort. The child would have no life and mine would be sucked away with it. So many parents of children with severe disabilities end up being sucked into their care so much that they don't have anything but the child. I couldn't do that. My partner wouldn't be able to do that. One parent usually ends up quitting work because it takes so much to care for them. Their life becomes the child. I would abort too. Bringing someone into the world to live half a life, to struggle, and never get to experience the joys of being alive. And if the child is aware of their own disability in some capacity, trying to explain why they can't have the full life of experiences that everyone else had. Horrible. Quality of life is not given the importance it deserves. Unless you have massive disposable income, your child that you love will not get the care and attention necessary like you say. The people who say it is wrong to terminate are 9 times out of 10 people who have never even helped with a severely disabled child, let alone spent decades caring for them. I'm pregnant now with my second, and I've been thinking about this a lot. When I was pregnant, the first time I was all, no matter what, will be fine. If he has health problems we can tackle it. He has no health issues and is perfectly healthy aside from a few bumps in the beginning. But now with the second one, I just don't know how I feel about this. I'm only 6 weeks so I won't know anything for a while. But if it does come out that there are major life altering medical problems, I just don't know if I could go through with it. I feel selfish for thinking this, but our life as we know it would be over. My son's future would be suddenly different. Potentially just sad. Our marriage would change. I mean, let's face it, our marriage is strong. But marriages have been ended over smaller things, you know? And what kind of life would my hypothetical medically challenged baby even have? Especially when we are gone. We'd be isolated as parents of a medically fragile baby. I just don't know. But it's something my husband and I will probably discuss soon just to be prepared in case. We're also a one-income household. I couldn't imagine we would be able to afford major hospital stays. Severe? Yes. I watched my nephew suffer for eight years. He was okay as in content for the first few years. He loved lights and colors. And because he couldn't walk, he was obsessed with feet. He would roll on the floor. And my dad lowered his fish tank for him. It was his favorite. And we all wore funny socks and slippers. And oh my god. His laughter when my sister would wear these slippers of reindeers with bells on them. It was a musical laugh. Very happy. He had a feeding tube and loved cuddles. Sweet baby, but always a baby, even at 50 pounds. Very hard on my sister. BC his dad left as soon as my nephew was diagnosed three months. But as my nephew's illness progressed, so did his pain. By the end, he was in pain 24 sevenths. He was a child really, a baby. BC even though he was eight. He didn't have an 8-year-old's mental capacity, and all he knew was pain. I couldn't do that to a person if I could prevent it. My sister had no idea he was disabled when she was pregnant, by the way. I don't know what she would have done if she had known, but she didn't. All tests were normal. He died at home, he had seizure after seizure, and eventually either he stopped breathing or his heart stopped. They don't know which happened first. My sister has obviously never been the same. Also, my other nephew also had PTSD from seeing his brother so sick. It's so hard on everyone. I could not do it. I remember hearing about a study about this exact same thing. Unsurprisingly, most parents would rather choose abortion if they knew their kid would end up with a disability. Edit, thanks for the silver and upvotes. I'd like to make something known, 
When I mentioned disability from a study, I heard a while ago it was something more to do with severe disabilities. I used the general meaning of the word disability because I don't remember the exact study nor the disability stated in such study. Thus, the generalization. Although I still felt the need to use the word disability in case mild or medium disabilities were included in that study regardless. As far as I remember to the best of my memory, I believe Down syndrome was included in it. Of course, the disabilities they learn about in utero are serious and severe. We aren't talking lisps and mild autism. We are talking severe physical deformations, mental retardation, things like that. I know how difficult life is raising healthy, smart children. I would never choose to bring a severely disabled child into the world. Those parents never have one day off as long as that child lives, which oftentimes is not very long. My wife did. The fetus tested positive forward syndrome. Just given those test results, the chance of a live birth dropped to 5%. Assuming the baby was born, the median life expectancy was measured in days. Likely disabilities include kidney malformations, structural heart defects at birth, intestines protruding outside the body, esophageal atresia, intellectual disability, developmental delays, growth deficiency, feeding difficulties, breathing difficulties, and arthrogryposis. Skimming Wikipedia, apparently results have got better since we dealt with this, but still nothing like good quality of life so she had the abortion. It was a relatively easy decision as these things go. That was her first pregnancy. The second one was healthy. Our daughter is in school at the moment. She's tiring and often annoying, but in age-appropriate ways. If my wife didn't have the abortion, we probably wouldn't have had her. We might not have been able to. The first pregnancy could have caused health problems, and we might not have wanted to, given the expense and trauma we would have gone through. When abortion bans are in the news, I often think, if that had been the law for us, our daughter wouldn't be alive. This is Reddit Rundown. If you are new here, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thanks for watching.